Hello and welcome to my second Across the Obelisk guide. My name is Foxplosion and today I will be showing you the best route for score for M16. I currently have a high score of 101,000. Um, so let's get right into it. First we'll show you Act 1. Uh, you're going to want to re-roll the map until you have this blue book here and this green book here and you also want to avoid having a green book right here in the northern plains because it's better to have the fight here in order to get a corruptor for more score uh, so you go town caravan down to the outskirts lost sheep up here into the hatch you, uh, I'll show you a picture of the hatch here in a moment but then this to here uh, to the trainer um, if you get the boon you get a little bit of score. I'm not 100% sure how much it affects the final score. Uh, that's up to debate. I haven't tested it yet. Um, and then uh, recently I've, I, I found out that if you go down to the story time and fail one of these events on purpose, uh, preferably using Maggie with no, try to have no defense, no defense cards, and you can fail it on purpose, you get an, uh, a burning itch but you get to have an extra fight and then you go to South Fang Gate um, currently I'm not 100% sure if this is better than just going this way uh, I've done a couple tests but it's difficult to decide depending on the corruptor I got an easy corruptor here at the South Fang Gate um, and going instead up here when there was a fight at the West Fang I had gotten a hard corruptor and gotten more score going up, but it really depends on which corruptor you get. So if you get a, a, a big corruptor here, then it's better to go story time, south Fangate, and then to Yager. Uh, let me pull up a picture of the basement. In the basement, you want to go up here and then to the alt to the statue um, here there's extra score if you do the three like the low roll and you actually fail it in order to activate the fight so you want to get more than three um, with your cards and fight the statue uh, and then it still lets you into this little room where you get to the boon usually put it on Sylvie or your carry and then you go down uh, and fight Belfour. Um, okay, and then we'll go on to the second act. Oh, this is not the second act, this is the third act. Maybe you could do green first, but uh, once you're at red, you want to just hit, hold the north, the go along the north road, Coliseum, fight everything you can in the Coliseum. Uh, so that means fighting the Minotaur. Stone Staircase over to Wilbur because you get points for accepting his quest more than going to the altar. Then you go Mountain Peak, Harpy Nest, and then to fight uh, the boss. And then once you go to Act 3 in the marsh, you can go down, outskirts, steal uh, everything from the village, down to the patrol point buy the boat with Jack but don't take the boat so you just spend a thousand gold for nothing then you go to Creeper Bridge down here you do a tough choice you can either loot uh, and fight or free free them and fight them uh, I think they give you a little bit of shards if you free them then poisonous zone into the spider cave you pull up the cave picture in the cave you want to not do what I've done here in the picture, which is go to north route uh, using Sylvie's rope. You want to actually do the drop down. Um, so you, I think the roll is seven or more um, with Madness 16. So as long as you get below seven, hopefully you don't crit fail because you don't want the uh, uh, the broken bones. But you go down. You have this fight here, which can have a corruptor and then you go to this fight here I go up uh, I actually don't know if there's a fight down here um, but I just set the hatchery on fire then you fight 
uh, the Spider Queen. Then you come up here, come out to the Temple Ruins, fight the Hydra, and then you go to Act 4, which I have pictures of here, and Act 4, uh, you go northern route here, which is hugging the, the edge, go to the forge, then at the library you want to pick the top option uh, to get the most score, and then down, fight the twins, and then in Act 4 Part 2, you want to go down, press the pink ruin here, and then go through uh, and fight the boss and that's the way to get the most score and here real quick I will show you what my decks looked like in each area I thought I'd do it at the end um, actually I this one is not complete but I'll put a I'll put a link to the to video for the beginning area um, but I'll show you what my decks look like in the second area second area they look like this, much as many howls as you can, as many intimidates, helping hands, um, and then just Sylvie having a bunch of damage. You can get volley if you want. At this point, I just wait in, until I have the uh, the third level for range mastery before I start getting higher cost cards. And then in the third act, this one is an older save, so. I'm using Andrin in this one, but um, Rain of Arrows, of course, and just Howls, as many Howls as you can. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps, and uh, have a nice day.